Welcome to Invisible Let's Play the project. I am your host, Invisible, with you. And today we shall be continuing on with part two for the session of 26th of uh, February 2022. Let's get moving to dungeons. Next. Paradise Castle upon Honey River. Blech. I wonder who thinks up these disgustingly sweet place names that always give me heartburn, Master. Anyway, this region is guarded by a vile good priestess. The reason is that a legendary artifact lies hidden in the depths of Paradise Castle. The Blade of Destiny. That would look simply awesome above your fireplace, Master. Oh, uh, by the way, it's also eminently suitable for your vile revenge. At least, rumor has it that Calypso was defeated with it once before. Unfortunately, the artifact is well protected by a powerful portal that only priests and paladins can open. Remember Marthas? A fallen paladin in our ranks? No? Oh well, it doesn't matter. The interesting thing is, he can open the portal for us. <laughs> Mr. Sidekick, do you think I have this most severe case of Alzheimer? I just fought with him side by side with Marthas. We got Marthas from the very start after. Which mission was it? I think what's before the mentor minus regardless. I don't have a severe case of clinical Alzheimer, okay? I just put with him right now. Dragon's gold, seal the dragon's gold. Find double of study. Martha's may have never have less than 20% health. Tear down five pentagrams. Do not build any library gimmicks. Really? Dig at least a hundred fields. A hundred twenty. Hundred fifty. Sure that you never be resurrected through the dungeon heart. Never heal your dungeon heart. Never have a thirty-five hundred or more gold. Got a hell. And you also got a hell. Same goes for you. Uh, all of this, never, 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 all of you just shut up. Okay, what else? I have a thousand, ten thousand gold. I have gold and more gold. Okay. By the way, a dragon in the, a game that came from 2011 is not what you think it is. Also, throughout the game, from the first ever act after the Crystal Throne was stolen by Calypso, till we reached uh, the Zombie King and Minus, every arc we finished, we got newer gimmicks, newer minions, and the newer uh, stuff. So nothing always stays the same. Meaning, every gimmick almost, quite literally every gimmick, has its own description, its own insider jokes, and uh, its own way to try to be funny, even when it is not. My point here is, of course, the cursed game crashed. What was I expecting? This is exactly what happens when you play a Windows 3rd 32 bits game on Windows uh, 64 bits. They tend to crash too many times. Is the game itself interesting? Kind of. Is the gameplay interesting? Sort of. Paradise Castle upon Honey River. Thank you for having saved the game before it crashed. Uh, 
is the game worth going through? Master, I had the foresight to clear the space above the fireplace for the Blade of Destiny. I'm confident that you will be hanging it there in no time at all. There is the priestess with the artifact, and a number of other servants of her god. A few good smacks should quickly make it clear to her that you deserve the sword more than she does. But first, we need to take care of the portal. You must accompany the paladin Marthas there, so that he can open it. As I said, only priests and paladins can open it. Let him know when you are ready. I'm just waiting for you, Dark Lord. Multiple times I tried uh, in this level to reach that area early on. And it turns out that it's impossible. I must finish first and foremost 800 percent, uh, 800 um, is distressed. Why am I destroying this place? Because you do not build a library right in the front of the dungeon heart. You place it instead of it, bodyguards. Points. We need to first and foremost to reach for the nearest shelters. Nearest uh, monster shelters in order to expand our dungeon. Also, by the way, um, yeah, Calypso will uh, come here asking us to do some garbage for her. So, yes. Ah, so this is where you're hiding. I'm so bored. I want to see a bit of chaos and destruction. Destroy five of your pentagrams to amuse me. Come on, hurry it up. Ugh, this woman could really drive you nuts. Master, you should really think about this. I'm not doing it for her, per se. I'm doing it because the quest requires me to do it, since it will give me some beautiful skill points and attribute points. That aside, also, the placement for these pentagrams doesn't suit me myself at all. Because I like to place my own pentagrams by my own hands. So Calypso, this is not you who is ordering me around. This is me, invisible, that decides, that is deciding to troll his own pentagrams by himself. Ah, cute. But somehow I had hoped for more. On the other hand, weren't you always a disappointment? See you soon. <laughs> yeah, I was always the disappointment. It's never a closed legs. Yeah. Well, since she's a succubus, I believe that she's unable to control her urges to be the toy for everybody. Listen, you never before heard me truly cursing or insulting someone because I always keep up my morality on a certain level. I'm not an immoral person. I do care about holding on to my virtue as much as possible. Unlike majority of the other YouTubers and gamers, maybe because they see what they use for, for profanity as jokes or as funny things to say. For sanity, I don't see anything funny about it. Remove this garbage from here. Areas around the dungeon heart have to be only reserved for bodyguards. Twenty still. This one is open. To take a hole. So we can reach that shelter. So when you arrive, please reach this one. So we can manage to increase our reach a little bit more. As for the bodyguards, um, yeah, for now. For now. Uh, one, two, 
three. Three pentagrams of each of them. As for this area, entirely will be a prison. Because we require a, a very big shield. Of this one, been up here. And now, give me the best possible cells you have. After all, we are going to fill the entire place, hopefully, with so and garbage. As many as we can. Also, give me one of these uh, starting skulls to make sure that this entire area belongs to us and our friend friends. <laughs> Since we finished Calypso's disgusting gear quest, we have some... Dear Lord, nine points. Okay, um... Let's see here. Always make the intelligence at least five points um, lesser than the than the monk. That is how the um, model of um, Leo and Panther is working on. This is a physical build, not a magical build. Yep. So, um, by the way, the intelligence will only go for uh, 45, that's it. The, the others will uh, go, keep on increasing. We finished already with the healing and this one as well. Uh, five points right now. We already have the stat assistances. I need to make sure that I get the invulnerability and also the improved uh, damage. Give me invulnerability. One, two, three, four, five. This one will replace summon uh, goblins. The summoning goblins will instantly be used right now here. Like it's Mayori, completely. Good work. Now, let's see here. Many of my personal uh, relatives are asking me when will I get a job. Nobody until this very moment knows that I record videos as an attempt in job. The thing is, my relatives are all too much traditional to understand the culture of streaming stuff. So for them, what I'm doing is not considered, never was and never will be considered as an actual thing to do for a living. Why am I spewing nonsense currently? Like this? I understand, I know. Just thought you might be interested in this kind of knowledge. Ah, so here you are. I have an important job for you. The new summer collection has been launched, and that means I urgently need gold. Lots of gold. Come on, show me the money. Women and fashion. <laughs> um, you mean gold diggers and fashion? Disgusting succulents. By the way, um, what do I get from this? Is uh, pink? Really? You know what, I'll send her the filthy money that she's asking for only this once. If I don't get anything in exchange for it, no skill points, no attribute points, then she can kiss her own bottom next time. Now I can finally afford that little black dress. It's wonderful to have lackeys. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Nothing's funny. Especially when you are around. Nothing at all is funny. <laughs> Thank you, goblins. Oven, we need some more. Uh... Someone's attacking you, master. No worries. Summon some minions. We're still in our uh, personal uh, area of uh, ones. That is. See, one, two. I think this should be more than enough. This one. 
Very fun. If you had uh, this guy kind of, uh, figured it by now, this level is about collecting prestige and building a normal dungeon. Thusly, I'm trying my very best to make a respected, uh, very much respected as possible dungeon. Um, dig all of this gold for me, please. I know for a fact that you are my underling and you will have to do it either way regardless. Again, when someone does a very good job, you should be crediting them what they do. Even if I am a demonic, um, playing, uh, playing a demonic dungeon lord. Ah, uh, by the way, um, heart, summon up your fire angels, guardian. Thank you. Also, pentagrams. Um, okay, nothing good. Where are the other shelters? Has just killed a hero. Uh, the other shelters, I'd like some more minions. What's this thing? Hellhound. Sounds beautiful. Sounds cute. Um, okay. This thing will uh, summon more uh, heroes from this area. So let's see. Come over here. So we have uh, another one here. I don't mean to disturb you, but uh, you're under attack. Summon minions. Here. Whenever I'm under attack, just summon more skeletons. I am trying my best now to keep the dungeon heart safe. Keep them around us, they can get moving. Oh, we have a, a healer here. Fantastic again. Thank you! Thank you, very much appreciated. Literally. Goblins, would you kindly please come here and dig this uh, both uh, terrain so we can uh, get ourselves to the beautiful shelters here, so we can claim them. Heroes can go to hell. 7 p.m. That's only fair. And you also, who said you can stay alive? Go to hell, go to hell. All the humans will end up in hell eventually. Go to oblivion, where you were born from. Okay, we need to now to have some more stuff to uh, please these creatures. Uh, I think that I have already mentioned more than enough times that I enjoy playing the dungeon style games, not only because I enjoy build your own base games to a certain degree so because you get to purge and cleanse the world from the filth that is a human race i need more gold for new clothes and shoes do you know how hard it is to find shoes for cloven and demonic gold feet and what they cost now hurry up and get a move on Listen here, Calypso. If you want some gold, here is a little trick. You know what? You break your both horns. You break all of your wings. You break your both legs and arms. And then shove them all up to your bottom. That's how you can get more gold. Why? Because some internet degenerates love to see others doing that. I'm not joking. The sickness and levels of degeneracy we have right now in these days are just fascinating. I doubt you ever heard me cursing before or using F bombs or whatnot, because that is not the type of a person I am. But when I truly am enraged, I wouldn't mind to use some strategically made insults. Still I can summon some even more hands. Very good. Okay. Um last file in the game when OBS crashed with me, not the game itself. 
I was in this very level. And I was trying to build the most uh, convenient civil dungeon I can build. By the way, in here, um, this thing is a dragon. This giant um, worm is the dragon. Here. This is what the dragon here looks like. Wow, how terrifying. And this here will be mine soon. Beautiful. Keep moving here. Some more shelters and some more pentagrams. Three here. Let's see. It's one, two, three. So, the more uh, we can gain of uh, bodyguards, the lesser we'll have to worry about. For that dungeon heart sick. Also, for the adventurers, we'll need to make sure that they are the champion has entered the dungeon master. Happy with uh, entertainment. We are uh, giving them for the sake of the synergy. Get rid of that healer. Now, Prince. Thank you. Now get rid of that assassin thing. This is, this is a barbarian. Who cares? By the way, um, no, now I don't care. What's this thing? Uh, Paladin. Well, wow. Tell me surprised. Her midriff was nice. Who knows, may I may comment about that in my one of my facts about invisible later. Bye. Uh, bye. We have some beautiful uh, solar energy now. <laughs> yeah, I still remember the old days when I used to record these videos offline. And then, uh, just like this, communicate about them by my, myself. A monster just tore one of your heroes apart. Like the world was never truly in the same way as right now, with the live uh, feedback and uh, streaming services and whatnot. Not every game is going to be like uh, Cambridge of Spirits or like Argami games that I used to record and give you live reaction instantly for them. At the very least, I can still give you some genuine reaction, even though it is only offline. Regardless, what is important is that the content is reaching you. And from what uh, CPTV, PC upon him, had told me, my friend, Now, uh, now. I need gold. Perhaps my minions can remind you just who is in charge around here. I need you to swallow your tongue. Perhaps my own bodyguards can remind you who is the prince here. Tag. Time, they keep just insulting you with their minions. Take your minions, cut them down, make from them a soup, and then feed it, feed upon it. Or even, you know what is even better? Cut your legs, cut your arms, and then go diving with your own hands. A monster. Just tore one of your heroes apart. I heard that these hellhounds are cuter than the pit bulls, anyway. Let's see here. One, two, three. Beautiful. Now we have um, nine bodyguards types. 
each of them is uh, either weak or strong, but every one of them is very eager to and uh, continue to finish his, the other's uh, duties. Okay, here. Goblins, come here and excavate some gold for me. We'll need to put some strength here. Also, the priestess that we need to destroy the paladin, the priestess. Alongside getting that blade of destiny, which supposedly is the weapon that defeated Calypso, that disgusting hag, long ago. We're already on this one. There's no need for you to go there. Let's get here. Wait a minute. This is an excavation. Get back here, Prince. Sorry about that. As like this, you can get the money much even easier and faster. What else do we have here? One, one here. Uh, it's 52 by now. We have. Should I perhaps give him another one in the middle here? So that. I mean, after all, the heroes over from here will need to have some constant uh, food of. Uh, Steeds and entertainment. Any other shelters that need to be dug? One of your monsters has just killed a This hero. is gold here. Okay. So this is gold. Um, it's over here. Swim trans. Uh, excavate, please, from this place here. Into this area. Some gold. <laughs> also, let me see here. Yes, I am biting on my tongue because I'm trying to think. It's kind of weird. This area is here, both the... Uh, um... Um... It's okay. This one will be a library. Here. Beautiful. By the way, about the decoration that I usually used to do, I don't care about it anymore. I know that I used to normally place them very well and uh, give them some kind of uh, caring towards the decoration, but uh, frankly, it's not needed anymore. Some more light, please. Light, click on light, lamp. One. Two, three, four. Set four. Bra. Shut up. Sit here. Uh, higher. Good. Calypso, when you decide to start actually changing your model dress, then we will talk. I'm not going to give you money for nothing. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, oh, I had no idea this was... Wow. My sister, a champion just entered your dungeon. Don't care. Here, another one here. Looks like I failed to contain the carpet. Who cares, honestly? Okay, some light. So the humans can see the area here, and also I can see it as well. So this is taking some sort of energy, but regardless. One, two, and here's some... Uh, um, Direct way to tell them. Get here. Apart, okay, uh, more for the heroes. Um, some more gold, I think. One of your monsters has yeah. just killed a hero. Some more encouragements. And even more encouragements. Uh, no need for this right here. You want a some more? Just tore one of your heroes apart, master. <laughs> Okay, in the previous uh, video, I had to place some traps because assassins do love so much to play with them. The thing is, about traps, they are a little bit too much potent, especially how you plant them. 
So I ended up having none spread to play, uh, spread whatsoever. But yes, uh, multiple times, um, Mr. Sidekick did mention how lunatics of the human race <laughs> love so much to deactivate the traps for some reason. This should be enough here. Uh, this area. Give them some stuff to have here. Another small library. Yeah, very small one. Here. 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 Work. Um, some stuff on the... Will I be recommending this to, for anyone to play with? If you have any hard problems, do not play it. If you don't mind the game and it's all the graphics, sort of, give it a shot. Even though it's nothing too special. On Steam, I did recommend it because I found that it is very underappreciated. But frankly, the more crashes it keeps having, uh, getting, the lesser I am convinced about getting yourself a copy. Because this is really extremely infuriating. Yes, I'm not going to bother even reading these, these things, because frankly nobody really cares about appreciating or reading the item description. Maybe at least not online, but another offline. What is this thing? Just decorate him? The more uh, something costs, the more it will give you of points, I think. That's how the system here works. I have only two more to go with the uh, sit. Oh boy, here, um, another armory and, um, here. okay. This is not even in our own uh, area of influence. The gram here instantly. All of gold here would be nice. Encourage the humans to enter the area. Um, okay, so library, armory, armory. Library. Library. Here, something like this here. Look at this here. Shut your trap up, break some teeth, and then sell them. Crush your wings, and then sell them. You have so many minions, why not also just sell them? When you're at it. When someone wants to be a capitalist, they have a very big and amazing fantasy about what can be sold. Including your soul, by the way, can I sell? Your succubus. Are you sure you don't have money? I mean, since you are literally a working girl. A working, more like a, a working hag. So why don't you go to your lovers, besides the prince, and, you know, spend some time working for them? Disgusting hag. Oops, or are you a little bit maybe too much spent? Overused? For a succubus being overused is wow. <laughs> uh, an insult. Is it not uh, clear enough that I hate this uh, NPC? I hope that it's, uh, it is more than clear. There's of the situation right here, very good. Also, this one I t said also it would be another armory. Because why not? Some more money. Okay, I... Multiple times I've read about these uh, items and how much the humans like to one of the monsters has just killed a hero. Thing is, never touched him. 
It's a morsel of energy. And that's the quickest as possible as well. Because I am running low. So we need some more prestige points. So far, I am um, satisfied with this level of uh, organizing. Friends, uh, give me a quick silver here. Open the up this gate. Friends. Last, I enjoy seeing his icon running around very quickly. A champion has entered your dungeon, master. Good work. Now get back to that dungeon heart. Yeah, the throne room. Because that is where you belong, on the throne of the underworld. We need to build some more, more so much more prestige in order to take out that dragon and get the, you know, the gold from it. Uh, by the way, who told you that you are now allowed to remain alive by your dungeon? Let's see here, let's see here. Excavated this area. What is it? Let's open that uh, other entrance as well. This time means that, yeah, we'll have uh, Martes. It's not really in a good area here. If I want to open up this uh, entrance, we'll have to get them more creatures in this place. Because no need for them to reach the dungeon itself. So, here. One, two, pounds, three. That's it. Three, two, out two. Shut your trap up. Disgusting gold digger. I'm not sending you anything anymore. Just defeated a hero. Because, uh, you know what? One of your monsters has just killed a hero. Remove this. Remove this. Remove this both as well. There's no need to ask right now to open this entrance. Let's instead focus on this one. Because we already back here, please. Them. So we can place this area under our personal uh, fronts as well. For God's sake! What is it now? This is fine, memory is fine, what the hell is going on? Give me a moment, I'm going to reload this sack of trash. Okay. Okay. So. Upon saving, you crash. Upon the changing menus, you crash. Upon... You know what? I believe it is more than enough already. Six. This one. Load it. Honey. Yeah. Paradise Castle upon Honey River. Is this a joke? Is this a joke? Master, I shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Is this a disgusting joke? Because it is not funny in the very least. Now, the half an hour spent playing this disgusting level, I'll have to, to redo it all over again. Simply because the game crashed while saving. Lastly, the entire saving file is corrupted. And so on. Um, sorry dungeons. I'm very sorry. I apologize that inside the 
Steam reviews I recommended you because frankly frankly you don't deserve to be played ah, so shut up <laughs> do I recommend this game I don't If there's a way to... Here. This broken... This completely broken... This absolutely broken... 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 This completely broken by design... Miss... I had I not spent any six uh, thirty-six hours by now, <laughs> I swear I would have refunded it. This is state of uh, this is state of uh, functionality is completely rejected. You know what? You know what? Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. I just went to Steam, went back to the store page, and here I am. Yeah, please uh, edit this review. I don't. I do not recommend this garbage. <laughs> yes, but the dungeon keeper and whatnot, what and whatnot. <laughs> Um, here, edit in real time, after getting the game, after having the game break on my uh, streaming sessions, sessions multiple times over and over again and losing saved games while playing on a gaming laptop while gaming the seven uh, saved games um, and getting a number of blue screens of death although I do recommend dungeons 2 and 3 which I honestly really love 3 very much I played it twice completely start finish 2 is not half bad although it can give you some hypertension I completely and utterly do not under any sir you misstances uh sir you misstances we comment this software for anyone at all Yes, my original review was positive, and I did recommend, recommend it. I can no longer take it this software 
breaks more often than a bell filled with eggs getting dropped into the floor made of concrete this after breaks more often than a bowl filled with eggs getting dropped onto the floor made of concrete and having every single egg in it not just crash to pieces but rather they they sin to great to nothing this game is broken completely broken I was trying my very best to stay positive with Dungeons 1, but frankly, it is not worth it. If I under, understood how broken this thing was, not thing, but thing, I'd have demanded refund long ago but this is what you get when you play a 32 bits based game on a 64 I think here seventies. yeah okay our automated content whatever 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 i don't care yeah this complete pile of garbage is not worth it 36.5 hours this no this is a completely broken game sorry calypso sorry but uh, even as for your personal first ever game this is unacceptable completely unacceptable on all kinds of levels of uh, product uh, pr production uh, quality they say uh, this is no, no quality this is complete garbage Sorry, but my my brain can no longer keep taking it like this. I don't want to keep all every time counting on how many skill points I'm giving my prince every time you crash. Already gave me more than enough blue screens of death. Then I care to count. A new spell has been added to your spell book, Master. And you almost broke my laptop completely, my operation system. Patience has its own limits. And this game broke me, officially. It's no more just a joke, it's literal. It is unfair for me not to give the game enough uh, chances, but I believe that having reached the almost very end of the game is more than enough. After this uh, mission, if I'm not mistaken, 
There's only four minutes, uh, four more missions to finish and game over. Would I be playing this game offline? That says no. Do I recommend it? Hard no. Do I uh, praise it for its assistance since it was uh, released in 2011? And this was the first ever game of its kind after Dungeon Keeper uh, games? I do. I will credit it where credit is due. But that's it, that's it. Is it a replacement for Dungeon Keeper? Personally, no idea. Since I never played Dungeon Keeper in my life. Never. But if Dungeon Keeper was this broken, I doubt that people would love it that much, as much as they do right now. I'm very thankful and very glad that even if the game is completely broken, the very least this recording session is not. Because it will show everybody just how broken of a game this is. This level of a brokenness is completely rejected and unacceptable. Where is that thing in place again here? Right. Okay, from this place. Give me some more minions, tokens. I know it very well that uh, as an RTS game, a real-time strategy game, uh, Dungeons won the poll for the community uh, tab that I, I had uh, previously prepared. But uh, with my blood right now boiling this much... just tore one of your heroes apart, Master. With my blood right now boiling this much, in this very small window of time, I think that once I finish Dungeons 1, I'm going to take a little break from this game, the Dungeons series. So Shut up. Come on, women and fashion. <laughs> we already heard you say that uh, silly joke 30 minutes ago. Uh, as I do recall it very well, but I do remember it very well. Last night, uh, ZPTV123 uh, informed me how much he misses the park management tycoon games. <laughs> Thusly, I do believe that I'm going to be playing uh, Thrillville 1 and 2 after finishing off with dungeons. Had the game not boiled my blood this much, I might have instantly began with dungeons 2. I realize very well that I do prefer dungeons 2 and 3 over dungeons 1. And now I believe that that uh, preference is more than enough. Um, Justified. I had never had I ever thought the game would be this level of a broken. Because this uh, this brokenness is beyond salvation, is beyond mercy, is beyond forgiveness. <laughs> Yet once again, I do re remind myself. Remind myself once again that this is a Windows 32 bits based system game and not a 64 bits based game. Meaning, with that uh, being said, perhaps I am not playing it on the right system, but still, Windows 10 should be able to easily have some compatibility systems waiting for this kind of issues. Lastly, it means that the game is fundamentally broken. 
You know what fundamentally broken means? It means that it was designed almost unplayable. I do not normally salt video games uh, developers or publishers, but uh, frankly, when I used to play offline dungeons 2 and 3, they weren't in this level for broken. Perhaps it's because they used to have some kind of experimentation with the uh, other two games, and this is just the first game. Invisible please stop buying more and more and more uh, forgiveness for something that is fundamentally broken. Or do you want to... are you really enjoying uh, repetition for the last uh, 30 minutes of your life? That were instantly wasted in a block of an eye just because the game decided it was time to break. I hope that my rage is not too much passive aggressive for you. <sighs> we said we could just make every single one mission to be its own part so that obvious doesn't break. I tried my very best to edit the videos using uh, Sony Vegas in order for being able to this, yeah, able to save multiple videos in case there is any kind of uh, this kind of death waiting to happen and I thank God that uh, I no longer have that problem because we fixed it somehow and I am thankful that most of the problems visually are fixed by now save manually now not load save manually sorry Good old game. Frankly, good work. Because had you right now crashed while, you know what? Save also above of this one. Had you crashed momentarily while I was saving my game and literally deleted all of my progress from the very start of the game to the very last five missions, Invisible would have instantly went feral. You know what means feral? You know what means a berserk? Shut up. If I had right now with me my parents uh, hypertension uh, machine to uh, measure my blood pressure, I would have used it. I am now setting mere steps from rage quitting to one if you dare to destroy my save game to that fundamental level completely for altogether I would have sued Calypso I'm not joking, I would have sued Calypso for giving us a completely broken garbage I would demand my refund regardless I paid money on Steam for this and I can't believe how stupid I was. This is all just for the passion of playing Dungeon Keeper, the original one. I mean, a dungeon... I never played Dungeon Keeper at all before, but for the sake of feeling a little bit some kind of power fantasy, being the Dungeon Lord and whatnot, and uh, seeing the origins of the game that I love right now, Dungeon 3, after they have uh, turned the entire game into a very much polished, beautiful a game. Dungeons 2 was my first ever game in this series. And 
some of its personal uh, mechanics gave me hypertension for some time. To the point where I uh, had to cheat it. Yes, I will not have shy from that fact. I had to cheat it because, frankly, playing it normally was impossible. The champion is coming. No, no, obviously, whenever I believe that something has to be cheated, I play it offline, not online. You don't need to know how I play it offline. Okay, I just reach my goal, and that's pretty much it. What do you need to, what do you need to know about? I can no more use torture uh, in the places because all we have here is just altars or sacrifices. There are some traps, but I don't really think anyone would like to have be trapped by the thing. Assassins. Yeah, I do understand the... Okay, good. Good work. My brain is starting to calm down. My brain is starting to calm down... Just killed a hero. Because... How funny. My brain is starting to calm down because my depression is starting to kick in. <laughs> At least, at least, I saved you. I'll see you in the next part because I don't want OBS also to crash and for me to lose all this footage. To truly prove to you how broken this garbage is. See you in the next part.